Fifteen dollars per share instead of five. You can do ten, which is uh, by x by x two or x three. So um, I think uh, uh, if I uh, if I if I have my memory, I can give you. Uh, I can give you. Um, two x. Let's say. Uh, let's say. Let's say three x. Um. Let's say I give you one. There are a lot, as you can see. Let's see. Let's see the Dow. Okay, uh, as you can see, one dollar twenty-two is five point three bull 3x shares so when you say 3 it means it is doubled by 3 according to the um, according to the uh, to the thing you can you can do in a day you can do in a day uh, it means you search on google all the etfs that are 3x and you choose one and you understand that if the index it is doubled into 3 if it is 3x or doubled into 2 if it is 2x so uh, Ahmed say show me SOXL please let me see Di direction daily semi bull 3x we have seven dollars and it is six six point uh, thirty six percent you should see you should see a uh, semiconductor how much it gives and you will find let's say it does uh, uh, 2.5 dollars two dollars point five so this x it will do seven dollars 48 so it is just uh, uh, multiplying by three okay multiplying by three and uh, be be careful of this direction direction like this you should uh, uh, find you should find the uh, stocks okay let me see dow jones 3x ETF. I will, I will. I will just show you right now. If I find the um, yes, I will. I will show you. Uh, Dow Jones 3x Ultra Pro is as Dow. Let me let me show it to you. So, for example, the S Dow is. Th oh no no! This is uh, this is uh, this is short. No no no! I, I'm I'm mistaken. Ultra Pro Dow Jones. Okay. Ultra Pro Dow Jones 3x. Let me see. Let me see if I can find. Ah, it's called U Dow. Okay. Sorry, guys, to wait for long. Uh, 
S it means short and if you put U it becomes U DAO yes okay so this ultra pro Dow Dow Jones it means it will do three times what the Dow Jones has done today okay three times now there are a lot and you should um, uh, you should follow this if you are a good trader you can uh, you can find the best one which is going very very fast okay there are some stocks without going to um, uh, without going to um, guys without going to without going to uh, inverse ETFs or it or uh, 2x or 3x ETFs you can just find some stocks that move too fast that has always high percentage there are a lot of stocks that are doing like this so if you follow them always you can make a lot of money if you know how to trade now uh, top series said how is uh, Merna looking for next few weeks now listen I don't predict top series I have always uh, told you about how I trade I don't predict anything for me when I buy a stock I buy it according to my criteria and I expect okay I expect that this stock will go into a trend okay so I will uh, I will give you uh, an example how I how I trade okay I will give you just an example to understand how I trade so I will not I'm not going to tell you um, to tell you uh, how I trade it means I give you the strategy but let's say let's say this is the this is the candlestick I bought now here now before here before here I will not show you what's going on before but what I show you is the is the candlestick I bought now what I am expecting from this candlestick let's say today here the stock is 20 dollars 25 cents just an example what this is today what i am expecting when i bought it here since i bought it according to my strategies my goal is that this will trend up this is my goal this is why i bought this stock I expect please understand I told you I expect I don't predict I don't predict stocks I don't know what to, what here I don't predict but I expect I expect it means something based on my criteria criteria this is this is what I base my trading on. This is my criteria. I bought it here because of some criteria. Now what I expect? I expect a trend up like this. Now you ask me for how long? It could be few days. It could be few weeks. It could be few months. Okay? I have uh, live trades that, that I have done uh, in in five months. I have traded, and each vi each vi each week I do a video, and they are in training level twenty. If you go to my website, you find the trading by video. You find the training level uh, twenty, which is my live trades. Each week I make a video when I bought the stock, and each week I tell you what I did for five months. I put like five trades one is five months one is three one is two months one is three months one is one month and you will see how I trade this is something that uh, that it is a uh, proof 
is how I trade. Now, let's say I put stop loss here. Let's say it is $19. This is, this is my stop loss. Stop loss. It means if the stock doesn't go as I expect and it goes down, it crosses my stop loss, I exit the trade. This is my, my strategy. I am not going to, to uh, hold a loser and it's going down. I should exit somewhere and this is my stop loss. Now, when I say 19 or 20, 25, this doesn't mean that I put it at 19. This is just an example. Because the stocks are different, so where you put stop is different. So this is how I trade. So I expect a trend up. If it doesn't work, I sell. If it, it, it continues to, go, to work for a few days, then it continues to weeks, then it goes to months, I'm staying. Because why should I, why should I, get, I don't have what we call price target. There is no price target in my strategy. I stay until the stock dries up. It means there is no more money coming from this stock. So you understand? So uh, this is a top series. This is how, uh, in general, how I trade. I trade through a very simple, effective strategies and I follow my strategies and my rules and I should not break the rules, I should do what I preach I do and that's it, okay? But if you give me a stock and you say, what do you think about this stock uh, prediction? No, I mean, I don't predict anything. Any stock that you bring it to me, I am not going to tell you anything because I don't know. If you are telling me, if you are telling me, is it a, a time to buy or when is it a time to buy? I will not tell you because you are asking about my strategy when I buy. This is a strategy. This is I not. This is not free. A free information. Okay. <laughs> Top series. Don't ask me free uh, lunch. No free lunch in the market. So, thank you, uh, Top series, for your question. And uh, Raju Ahmed said, thanks Karim, I think I will join again for golden subscription. Uh, Raju Ahmed, uh, if you have, send me an email, I will check how many training levels, how many golden subscription you have done. You might be entitled for 50%, 50% discount. So uh, be careful. You, 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 you might be entitled for 50% uh, discount. So don't, uh, don't subscribe until you send me an email and I will check on you on how many tra uh, um, um, training levels or how many uh, subscription you months. I, I accept everything. Everything that you stayed, everything that you bought, even if it is an ebook, I will count that and if I see, I can give you 50% if you reach, if you reach the, the amount that I said in the subscription page. Okay? And guys, always uh, in my subscription, I try to help as much as I do. I try to tell you all what's going in the market. Stocks that I buy, I showed it to you. Uh, you can follow me and you buy them. But uh, I assume risk, that there is a big risk, because for me, I don't buy stocks that doesn't move or it moves uh, uh, 2% or 1% uh, in a week. Uh, I don't. I don't buy those. Okay? I buy stocks that are moving so fast, that are leaders, and you should expect uh, big money or you can expect some loss. But it's the strategy and there is no a perfect thing on trading. It doesn't mean that when you lose uh, some trades that you are a loser. It's not. A loser is when you hold a loser. You become a loser. You know, guys, I have been contacted since 2010 about guys. They send it to me when they lose all their money. Someone who has like a... a the, the one that, uh, that uh, I feel pity about him, I, I talked to him in person. He has half a million dollars. Okay? Half a million. 
he bought two stocks like for investing and the the second mistake he has done he doesn't diversify a lot but he, he bought two stocks no problem the other problem he he invests through a bank so the bank has a lot of fees he doesn't know for many years for 10 years 20 years 30 years he is investing from his paycheck 25 percent of his paycheck goes to investment that's why he has a good job but he invests a lot this guy is a good investor but the problem is that he did mistakes and no one tells him that he is doing the same mistakes for 20 or 30 years for me although i was teaching him swing trading okay um uh, so um ahmed raju i know i know what you're telling me now but i can't send me an email and i will check for you uh, because i can't uh, i can't deal with this right now I don't take information from the chat so send me an email and I will see I will see uh, everything and we will speak about that so as I told you this guy put 25% in his uh, of, from his money to uh, investment but through the bank understand the bank they do a lot of fees he doesn't know and one of his stocks after 10 years or 20 years uh, investing it disappear because his company go bankrupt he doesn't check you know it's another big mistake yes because he has the old uh, the old ideas they say okay if you want to make money buy a stock and forget about it hold it for 100 year 100 years and you will be will become you will become the biggest investor in the world which is false you should check your investment at least three months once through the earnings you should check there are ways you should check your stock and this is very very important for those who have investment uh, a lot of people they send me their investment and I give them a review and I will help them uh, at least at least to help them uh, because this is a psychological problem when you have a loser you think that if you sell you get the loss and you become a big loser and uh, what if the stock goes up okay i ask him when did you buy the stock what what price he say 100 dollar what is now the price he told me 2 dollars i say from 100 to 2 dollars you are waited for many years and then you expect the stock goes from two dollars to one hundred dollars uh, uh, more you are so crazy to think about this and uh, then one time his stock doesn't uh, uh, disappear from his account he lost two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in many years because he doesn't know and then when he uh, when he called his broker he told him that the company goes bankrupt many years ago he doesn't know <laughs> he doesn't open his account he doesn't know nothing this kind of investors you should never be like him but uh, but he gets the lesson he goes out of the from the bank he choose a broker and uh, fortunately the other stock has doubled and now he bought other stocks and he follow my strategies and he is doing way 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 better than before okay uh so raju ahmed said i was with you seven months in golden and i bought three video levels okay i will see that later top city said thanks for the honest advice kareem good night okay thank you very much guys we have all, uh, almost uh, 11 minutes 10 minutes right now so guys if you you have a question about this uh, ETFs or these uh, stocks and you get always uh, a problem please if you can't reach me you can um, you can send me always an email and ask me my suggestion or my opinion because generally for me I don't give you an advice okay I am not uh, an, uh, a financial advisor I am not because you should have a license to do advice i don't advise people but i give you my opinion 
Now, if you take my opinion, it's just an opinion. You, you have your own opinion. If you think my opinion is better than yours, you do it. If you think that your opinion is good, you stay. But when you lose more and more money, it means that your opinion is false. If you try to use even virtually, virtually it means you say, okay, Kareem told me this in January. If I do this, I will have money. I will try his strat strategy virtually. One month, two months, three months, six months. And then you see that my strategy works and you make money virtually. So you should begin working for real. Okay? So guys, we are at the end of this session. Uh, please, can you ask uh, questions? Especially uh, FRDM who came late and he told me I didn't see uh, the charts. Uh, I, uh, you come late, FRDM. And uh, thank you very, very much for coming and all the guys. So guys, I am waiting for you. I think the chat is working right now. I don't see any, uh, any problem. So um, if you have a question, please ask me questions. I will be uh, happy to help you. If you don't have questions, Uh, I will I will be showing you uh, some uh, industries. Uh, understand that each uh, that the industries sometimes they have different names. It depends which website you use. It depends which uh, which company that makes this ETF names. Because sometimes the the there are differences. For example, the my chart is always giving you. Uh, the ETFs that that they have in the chart understand that uh, my chart has all the indexes and their industries and you can check which index, index is doing good but for me as I explained last week I will show you right now the um, uh, some I think of the ETFs, let me see, ETFs, that I put many times ago, yes, let me see this, yes, uh, here guys, if you want to, uh, if you, you are interested in ETFs, about the sector, sector ETFs, it means the broad ETFs, and you see how, how it is doing, I, I showed uh, to you this last week, so I will go very, very quick with these ETFs, it means, for example, industrial sector. This is a uh, spider. It means the company that makes this is called spider. So this is where it is according uh, to the chart. XLI. Now, healthcare. You, you see the difference? You see healthcare, how good it is compared to industrial. Industrial is not doing that good. But healthcare is doing good. Uh, Dix discretionary consumer discretionary ETF, uh, material sector, technology sector, uh, S spider sector, energy which is doing bad. It's not doing that much. Uh, consumer staples. Financial is not doing that good also. Uh, utilities, metals and, mi and mining, it's not doing that, that good because of the, uh, a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, healthcare services, regional banking. See, regional banking, it means banking in some regions of the United States of America, they are not doing that good. You see, you see the trend is very, very bad. So if you buy a stock from this banking, regional banking, uh, 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 most of them they will be doing bad. Uh, technology hard, uh, hardware, home builders, software and services, innovative technology, insurance, not doing that much, but biotechnology, in S&P 500, 
the biotechnology ETF is doing excellent. You see how big is the, uh, the trend. This ETF, it means the stocks that are here are doing excellent. The bank, you see the difference? You see biotechnology, how it, how it does? Okay. You see how it does? Okay, no. How it does? How good it is? It means it nearly reached the high. See? This is the downtrend, this is the uptrend. It nearly reached the high in the past. It means biotechnology is doing, uh, is doing good so far. But in the future, no one knows. Bank is doing bad. Oil and gas, equipment and services, you know, they are doing so bad. The companies, some companies are losing business and some other companies, they go bankrupt. So go, uh, oil and gas equipment and services, they are doing so bad. Internet is doing better. Healthcare equipment is doing better. Uh, telecom is doing uh, just uh, near the thing. Capital markets not doing that good. Oil and gas exploration production is not doing that good. The price of oil is bad. Pharmaceuticals is doing medium. Aerospace and defense, they have a problem. As you might know, everything is banned. And no tourists, no transportation. So the airplanes are not working. The people are not working. So uh, they have difficulty, as you can see. Um, semiconductor technology and transportation and retail. Okay, uh, so it is uh, 1 hour 57 and uh, I don't see anyone who is asking a question. It means, uh, it means you don't have any question. That's, that's good for me. That's good for me because I'm ne I nearly end this session. So uh, guys, if you, you are interested uh, to buy ETFs, please find the best ETFs, the leaders. ETFs that are going good, that they move fast, if you want to. And don't use ETFs that are doing bad, as I showed you here in, uh, in this chart. Some ETFs are doing bad. Like the energy, energy sector is doing bad. Banks are doing bad. It means if you are buying those, you are not doing good with the market. The market is doing better than you. For example, if you buy Dow Jones, it's better than the buy energy sector. So you see that? It means it is your choice to make money or not to make money. And you say some people, how can, how can you say that? How can I know which one is which? So, but you, you need a strategy. You need, you need ways. You need to ask questions to follow strategies. My strategies are very, very simple. It means it's not a big deal. When you understand what I, am, uh, what, what I am teaching, you can do it by yourself or your life. You don't have to be in my golden subscription or silver subscription. You just get what you need. And then you begin to work on your own. If you need me, even if you need me, I will, I will answer you and with my strategies because you were my student. But if you ask me a question, Without being my student and you want strategies, this I cannot tell you because, you know, it's, um, it's a, a business-wise thing. Okay, so uh, I think uh, we are going to two hours. We have just a few seconds left. Thank you very much, guys, who are coming. And thank you uh, for today because today we have uh, some problem with, uh, the, with the live. I don't know what's, what's going on. And... Um, Hope uh, I will see you uh, next week. Thank you very much.